Hello guys, welcome to Article Street episode number 8. So if you don't know what this series is about, it's about me as a child when I was, you know, 16 or 17 years old, collecting these newspaper articles uh, so that I could, I could read it later in my, in those days, but I didn't read it. So it's, it's been in this, you know, clear bag for like 8 years. And it's just a bunch of newspaper, uh, newspapers, articles. And after eight years, I'm reading them. Um, and I'm glad it happened. So, because I can share this knowledge with you people as well. And just, yeah, it's just amazing. And I can do it with you, all of you. So, yeah, here it goes. This article is about key questions to ask yourselves about your CV. Number one, where does my CV fit? Your CV is an important tool for you in your job search. Most people make the mistakes of believing that CV is the most important tool and make lots of effort into writing their CV early in the job process or too early in the job search process. The most important part of the job search is being clear about what you want to do and then having a plan for how to go and find what it is that you want to do. So your CV comes as part of the plan. How good is your CV? The CV is an incredibly subjective document and everybody including you will have an opinion on it. Anybody that looks at a CV will suggest amends, amendments amendments for to it and after a while you can easily get frustrated that people are toying with your CV so when you come to an approach and a style that works stick with it good CVs tend to be shorter and if you are in need of fuller supplementary CV that includes great little in every job or a list of publications that you have written make it a separate and supporting document your CV should be clear grammatically correct well laid out, truthful, honest, and reflect your life as well. Who can give me a view on my CV? Any professional career guide should be able to give you a view on your CV. The most important view, however, is going to come from somebody who knows very specific markets that you are trying to put your CV into. It is definitely horses for courses. Think about where you are going with your job search, who you are targeting, and who can give you specific insight and help you tell your CV to whom it is going. How do I show experience if I have limited qualifications? Experiences and qualifications are not really the same thing. It is well known that some highly qualified people lack common sense and in the same way people who have had experience can often in situation be more valuable than somebody with the qualifications. A good example of this is the individual who has experience of working in the armed forces where training and development to achieve objective objectives in extraordinarily tough conditions can be highly useful when they leave the service. Sometimes these people have limited qualifications but their experiences can be superbly harnessed. So that's it. Yeah, one of the questions. What I learned from now is like you know, don't write CV too early. You know, right at the right time when you're applying, be clear about what was in applying, what are the objectives in, in my life, and what will I get out of the job. That's, that should be in my CV, my objectives, and my CV should be short as possible. It should be specific. That's it.